What's up, guys? Coach Austin here with a little different flow than we normally do. Usually, I give you guys more of the yin recovery flows. This is going to be about like a 20, 30 minute flow, a hybrid mix of both. So we're going to be moving, getting our heart rate up in the beginning, like our usual Sunday class, and then we'll wind down, cool down with some restorative yin, slower postures, and then with a nice shavasana. All right, so let's get started. Coming right into downward dog. So when you set downward dog up, make sure your hands are about shoulder width distance and your feet are about hip width distance. Bend your knees slightly and lift your tailbone and your sitting bones up and back behind you. And take the fronts of your thighs back. And eyes set right at your two feet. Two breaths here, inhale, exhale. One more, breath in, breath out. Feet to hands, walk to the front of your mat, ragdoll. Split your feet apart, about hip width distance. I like to measure two fists right between my two feet. And turn your feet so that they're facing 12 o'clock directly forward. Bend your knees a bit, grab your elbows, ragdoll, pose, drop your head towards the floor. Feel free to shake your head out here, yes, no, whatever's going to feel good. Let your spine dangle towards the floor. Ground the four corners of your feet down to the mat. And breathe in. Breathe out. Drop your hands to the floor, bring your feet together, stand up, extend the mountain, arms high above you, bow forward, exhale, hands to the floor, drop your head, halfway lift, breathe in, step back, high plank, top of a push up, now if you need to modify, feel free to drop your knees, you can drop your knees just like that, or you'll take the full high plank position. Set your eyes between your hands. Make your belly tight. Pull the pit of your abdomen in and up to your spine. And breathe in. On your out breath, lower halfway down. Up dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Two breaths, inhale. Exhale. Deep breath in, full breath out, look to your hands, walk or jump, feet to your hands, front of your mat, bring your feet together, lift halfway up, breathe in, bow forward, exhale, stand up, extended mountain, rise high to the ceiling, inhale, fold forward, exhale, hands to the floor, or your shins, whatever you need. A halfway lift, long spine, look to the floor. Low plank, chaturanga. Step back, jump back. Upward dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last breath in. Breathe all the way out, exhale. Walk or jump to your hands. Lift up, halfway. Bow. Chair, bend your knees, but low, chest and arms high to the sky. Fold forward, exhale. Lift up, halfway. Chaturanga, step or jump back. Up dog, inhale. Down dog. Step your right foot forward, warrior one. Drop your back heel to the mat, stand up. Reach your arms above you. Ground the four corners of both feet to your mat. Then pull your belly tight on your exhalation. Look up above you, breathe in, stretch up. Chaturanga, hands down, low plank, 
Up dog. Down dog. Left leg forward, warrior one. Rise up, inhale. Stay, exhale. Stretch your fingers apart, breathe in. Drop your hips two inches towards the mat, breathe out. One more, huge breath in, stretch up. Chaturanga, low plank. Up dog. Down dog. Ah, good old fashioned sunbees. Wake the body up. Get the blood flowing, the breath moving. Body stretch. Nothing better. We're going to do one more round. Breathe in. Breathe out. Look forward, walk or jump to your hands. Lift up halfway. Bow. Chair, inhale. Bow forward. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Great right leg forward, warrior one. Stretch your toes out. Chaturanga, low plank. Up dog. Down dog. Left leg forward, warrior one. Press your feet down, stretch up. Hands to the mat, low plank. Up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out. Bring your big toes to touch. Lift your right leg high above you. Bend your upper knee, roll your upper hip open. Stay here or flip your dog. I'm gonna flip my dog. So when you flip, turn your belly, your hips up towards the sky. Stretch your right arm away from your body. Really stretch here. If you're in the three legs, take your upper leg towards the ceiling. Breathe in. Downward dog. Breathe out. Bring your feet together. Lift your left leg up. Bend your upper knee. Stack your hip. Stay or flip. I'm going to stay on this side. Show you another visual. And whatever you choose, commit to it wholeheartedly. This pose. This action that you can do and then this moment look at one point breathe in downward facing dog bring your feet together roll forward high plank spin your heels to the right balance on your right hand side plank left hand reach it up firm your belly your quadricep muscles your tricep your bicep muscles everything tight breathe in chaturanga up dog down dog bring your feet together roll forward side plank left hand down right hand up pull in the muscle contraction into the bone press down and then rebound up big breath in stretch up chaturanga up dog down dog step your right leg forward high lunge keep your back heel elevated reach your arms up Prayer twist to the right. You can drop your back knee if you need to. I'll keep my knee down here. Now lengthen your spine forward. Twist your chest upwards. Breathe in. Breathe out. Warrior two, open your hips and chest towards the left side of your mat. Look forward over your front hand. Breathe in. Extended side angle, right forearm, top of your right quad, everyone. Left hand up to the sky. Keep your upper arm up. Stretch your fingers and toes apart, breathe in. Ground your heels into the mat, breathe out. Take one more full breath in. Chaturanga, hands down. Up dog. Down dog. Step your left leg forward, high lunge. Rise up. Prayer twist to the left. And lengthen forward, inhale. Exhale, twist. Remember, you can drop your knee if you need to. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more cycle, inhale. Ground your feet down, exhale, twist. Warrior two, come up. Breathe out, fill up, 
Extend the tight angle, left forearm down. Find one drishti point. That's the point where you can look at. Set your eyes on that point. Hopefully it doesn't move. Breathe in. Smooth breath out. One more, big breath in through the nose. Chaturanga. Up dog, chest forward, forward, forward. Down dog. Walk or jump to your hands. Lift halfway up. Bow. Chair pose. Prayer twist to the right for a breath. Chair pose. Prayer twist to the left for a breath. Chair pose. Bow forward. Split your feet apart, hip width distance. Two fists if you're not sure. Bend your knees, hook your big toes with your middle and index finger. Lengthen your spine forward, breathe in. Drop the crown of your head to the floor, breathe out. Right here, look at the back of your mat. Concentrate your eyes and continue to deepen the stretch. Moment to moment, pull in from the skin into your muscles, to your bones, and then radiate out from the bones to the skin. Okay, gorilla, hands beneath your feet. Nice spatula action. Get the toes across the palms of your hands. Maybe you grip your foot with your hand. Massage the feet with the bones in your hands. Yeah, and how do you do that? You just kind of move and massage the foot across the hands. Okay, crow. Jump over the no and be a yes for crow. Hands down, even if you have to fake it. Fingers stretched wide, knees to your triceps. Tippy toe forward, bend your elbows, look in front of your mat. Now press your hands down as a pressure point. Lift your pelvis up. Maybe you float one or both of your feet up. Five, four, belly tight to the spine. Three, two, chaturanga. Step or jump back, up dog. Down dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Walk or jump forward. Feet to hands. Halfway up. Bow. Stand up. Extended mountain. Bend your knees. Eagle. Wrap your right leg over your left leg. Wrap your right arm underneath your left arm. Five. Four. Three. Exhale, two, stand up, extended mountain, eagle, left side, ready, set, five, four, three, two, stand up, tree, balance on your left leg, lift the sole of your right foot up, place it on the inside of your left quadricep. Bring your hands to a prayer, pause. Lift your elbows towards the sky. Breathe in, breathe out. Extend your hands towards the ceiling and your arms towards the ceiling. Ground your standing foot into the earth. Lengthen your spine up. Tadasana, stand at attention, two feet down, arms alongside of you. Tree, take the sole of your left foot to the inside of your right quadricep, the quadricep on the standing leg. Rest your eyes on one point, bring your hands to a prayer position. Now press your lower foot into your standing leg and your standing leg back into your upper foot. Reach your arms up. Keep the pressure of the push in the feet and the legs. Inhale. Exhale, huge breath in, Tadasana, arms alongside of you, upper foot to the mat. Sweep your arms up, breathe in, bow forward. Halfway lift, Chaturanga, low plank. 
up dog down dog right leg forward warrior one warrior two straighten your front leg triangle reach forward right hand to your right shin left hand up to the ceiling oh now belly tight take your shoulders down your back breathe in press the crown of your head forward breathe out rotate your chest up stand up face to the left toes point in reach your arms up inhale bow over your legs prasarita padatanasana take your hands to your shins little by little lean in it's coming apart getting deep into the tissues the muscles deep into our breath breathe in breathe out stand up face forward turn your front foot your right foot on 12 o'clock step your back foot in like two or three steps one two three maybe bow over the front leg turn your fingers towards the back of your mat drop your head towards your front leg Okay, walk your hands forward about to like your foot level where your front foot is, lift halfway up. Twisting triangle, left hand stays down, right hand up towards the ceiling. Breathe in, breathe out. One more, big breath in, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog, left leg forward, warrior one. Warrior two, straighten your leg, triangle. Be intentional where you place your lower hand. Create length through the spine and the torso. Now upper shoulder back, breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, rotation on the exhalation, stand up, face to the right. Bind your hands at your lower back. So interlace your fingers. Look up. Bow forward. Keep the feet wide. Our intention here is to drop the crown of our head towards the floor. It's as if there was a light shining out of the crown of your head. Point the light towards the floor so it would illuminate your mat. That's the light radiating out of you. The inner light. Breathe in. You're channeling it. Breathe out. Keep your hands bound. Stand up. Face forward. Hop your back foot in. Bow over your leg. That's it. Bend your knees a little bit more than you think. So you release your back. You release your hamstrings. You drop your hands to the floor. About level with your front foot. Right hand stays down, lift up, twisting triangle, rotate and open, five, hips back, collarbones forward, four, press down, three, open, twist, two, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, great work, roll forward, high plank. Slowly lower to your belly, five, four, three, two, one, turn your head to the left. Turn your head to the right. Turn your forehead to center. Tuck your chin in slightly. Locust, reach your arms back. Lift your extremities up to the sky. Five, ground your pelvis to the floor. Four, now upper arms lift up. Three, thigh bones lift up. Two, Breathe in, lower down. And up dog, hands by your chest, lift yourself up. Down dog. Okay, come to your hands and knees, swing your legs around, so you come onto your back here. Last few back bends. Option A, we're going to start with bridge. Look at your feet and your legs so that your legs, well your legs, not your feet, your legs are about hip width distance. 
about two fists you can measure between your quads, your thighs, and then the feet on 12 o'clock. Ground your feet into the mat, drop your head back gently, lift your pelvis up towards the ceiling. Don't let the knees splay so wide out and don't let them collapse in. Keep them at neutral, hip width distance. Lift the front of your pelvis up, scoop your tailbone beneath you, breathe in, lift high, lower down, exhale. Hey, option here, stay with bridge, but we're going to do one more back bend pose. Wheel, hands by your shoulders, palms flat against the mat, turn your fingers so they face forward. Then press into your hands and feet. Lift your legs, pelvis up first, then your torso, then your head. Best to straighten your arms as you can. Press down and lift yourself up. Five, four, stay in whatever pose you've decided. Three, lift your hips towards the sky. Two, slowly lower down. Good job. Take the soles of your feet together like we were doing an ab mat sit up. Let your knees splay out. Drop your thoughts. Drop your worries. Get grounded in the physical reality right here. Your body. Your breath. Acknowledge yourself for staying on your mat. Not only did you press play, but you made it this far, so acknowledge that. You didn't get off your mat, you didn't run, you stayed committed to the practice. It's a great quality to see things through. We don't always have to love it, but we stay the course, we see things through until they're complete. No more running. Hug your knees to your chest. Rock and roll forward and back, up and down the length of your spine. And you're going to sit upright into boat pose, almost like a V up, but you're going to hold, knees bent, arms parallel to the floor, or you can take your hands behind your thighs for a little support. Now engage your core nice and tight, belly up and into the spine, shoulders down your back, look at your feet, breathe in, breathe out. One more, full breath in. Rock back, cross your ankles, downward dog. Use a little momentum, roll forward over your legs. Step back, lift your right leg up, half pigeon, right knee to your right wrist. Shimmy your left leg back, keep the toes tucked in the back leg, so the toes tucked. Drop your forearms down, you can stay here, or if you have the access to and you want to, and a sleepy pigeon to drop your head down, reach your arms forward. Let's get five good breaths here. And I mean good, I mean like deep, full, life cleansing breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One, breathe in. Breathe out. Two, inhale. Exhale. Three, fill up your lungs. Empty your lungs. Four, last breath. Pull the air in. Press the air out. Downward dog. Hands active through the transition to down dog core active from pose to pose lift your left leg up half pigeon or you can come on your forearms or you can extend your arms forward it's a great medicine for the hips the lower back the spine you name it yoga we get it all especially in our Riv Yoga, our Baptiste Yoga Riv Flow, designed with the athlete in mind. We use the total body every practice. Nothing forgotten, nothing overused, everything used in the right quantity 
the right quality, preparing us for optimal movement, optimal performance, optimal living conditions. Every time we practice yoga, it's a step in the direction of being physically self-actualized. Right, breathe in. Breathe out. Slowly sit up. Swing both of your legs in front of you. And you sit back on your tailbone. Reach your arms up. Inhale. Bend your knees first. Grab for your feet. Bend your knees as much as you need to. And then if you'd like to straighten your legs, you can. You don't have to, though. Doing great work being on your mat, doing your practice. Good for you. Good for you. Breathe in. Breathe out. And slowly sit up. Keep your lower body on the mat. Take your hands about five or six inches behind your seats. And you're just going to lean back. At the same time, press your collarbones up. Huge stretch to the front side of your body. Drop your head back. And lower down onto your mat. Pull your right knee into your belly. Take your right leg across your body. Look over your right shoulder. Supine. Supinated position. Spinal twist. Switch your legs. Right leg extends. Pull your left knee in. Twist. Come back to center. Shavasana. A lot of you, if you practice Ramwad, pull up the rebound. Shavasana, corpse pose. Stay in corpse pose, especially if you normally don't stay. I challenge you, turn off any distractions, no phones. Just you, your body, your own breath, your skull skeleton, your muscles, right here. Let go fully of tension. Breathe in, breathe out. Keep your eyes closed, roll to your right side. And press up to an easy cross-legged seat at the front of your mat. Bring your hands to a prayer position. Press your thumb knuckles into your sternum. One final time, we'll get connected with our breath and our body all in the same place. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Bring your hands up to your forehead. Namaste. Good work. Really good work. Thanks for practicing along. I hope you enjoyed it. And I want to invite you to practice with me and our awesome RIV community on Sundays at 9 a.m. 
every Sunday besides holidays or when I'm not there. And we do a very similar flow to what we just did. It's our 50, 55 minute signature flow with the athlete in mind. And we get the whole body prepared and ready to go for the next week strengthening, mobilizing, taking the joints through their whole range of motion. It's really a wonderful, wonderful flow and everything you need in that 50, 55 minute time period. So thanks again for joining us and hopefully see you soon.